Right, this is a quick video just to show you how to replace the battery on this little sort of LED display um, on the filter. My my filter is a, a Maxtra, but I believe this little module, I think it fits quite a few different models, so it should all be the same sort of thing. Now, I've already done this, um, but basically, this is just to show you how to do it. You should be able to pop this little module out with the lid, and once you take the thing out, it actually comes, this is the bottom cut off it here, but I'll just put that back on. It basically comes as a, as like a, a sealed unit like this. And what I did when I was looking, I inspected it, I found that I could see a small seam on this bottom edge here where it had been basically bonded all the way around. So what I did then, I took a Stanley knife, very sharp knife, and I basically worked into these corners until the blade had gone in. Obviously, when you're doing this, you need to be very careful. So I was holding it down on the bench, and then basically I did each corner so that the blade had worked into the corner, sort of like, like that. If you can see what I mean. I did each corner, and then I worked all the way around the edges then till they, till they met, and then this piece came off which then gave me access to the battery and then all I did then was basically oh I cut a small again it's hard to see I cut a small piece out of the side here so that it would allow the battery to slide out this way so then I can pop the battery out once I had the battery out, on the back there is a small battery number uh, and the number of this particular battery is a CR1620. I just bought a couple of them off eBay. Here they are now. And basically just pop in the new battery. And when I turn it over now, I should be able to press the button and we start to get this thing all charged up so there it is and then just pop it back into here there's no, absolutely no point in putting the other end of the case or gluing it back on because at some point in the future that battery is going to go and now I can just replace it so it's as simple as that obviously the thing you need to do is just be very very careful when you're using the knife uh, and just don't force it too much, don't apply too much pressure, just rock it backwards and forwards, don't try and saw it, just rock, like on a pivot, so it's not, not, not a soaring motion, but a rocking motion, yeah, and work your way into the corners till it's just gone in so far, do the same thing on the other corner, and then do the same thing both ends, and then once you've got those sort of gaps, you can slowly work your way down until they all meet until this piece comes off and then once that piece is off obviously cut that little slot for the battery to slide out and then that's the whole thing done and there's the whole thing working again